All right. So, Oskino, former Rockefeller artist, did an interview with Say Cheese. Shout out to Sean Cotton with Say Cheese. And he ended up bringing up the whole Jay Z uh, situation. Now, one of the things that I want to highlight is he talked about how Jay Z had went to court for Beanie Siegel. If I don't know if y'all remember back in the day, was it old old two old three? Beanie Siegel ended up uh, you know firing a weapon at somebody and hit him allegedly, and he ended up going to court over it. And Jay Z and Beyonce ended up going to court. Now this is around the time when they was kind of starting to date publicly you know they would they never fully came out and said it but it was obvious and jay-z went up on stage for Minnie siegel and was like you know he's an incredible artist and yada 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 now the judge said at the time if you want to let Benny siegel if if i let Benny siegel out would you be responsible for him and jay-z said no now a lot of people are going to say we a family and you know rock la familia because you remember back in the back in the day you thought the rock was just a pure family so beanie siegel was hurt at the time and a lot of people were shocked that he said no now here's my thing when it comes to all of that i get it right beanie siegel was like he was the number one soldier if anything happened he would uh he, he'd be there to handle it just like when kanye when they thought Kanye was finna get robbed, or Kanye said he was finna get robbed, Benny Siegel came with that iron. This is in New York, where you get caught with a weapon, you finna do several years. But one thing that people gotta understand is Jay was he was already changing. The rock was pretty much over. Maybe some of us fans and you know, people like me who was in high school around the time, we didn't understand it, but Jay was on a whole nother level, and Beans had already been doing wild stuff do y'all remember go back and watch um was it the diary y'all remember mtv back in the day you think you know you have no idea benny siegel was with in north carolina with jay-z and jumped in the crowd after somebody i can't remember somebody threw a drink something happened but he jumped in the crowd and jay had to go get him so benny was he was always getting in trouble so jay was like man no i can't be responsible for this man he might get out of something else might happen then it come back on me now, Skino was saying he just don't understand it. And, you know, Jay-Z is a businessman at the end of the day. You know, and it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know this might not be the most popular opinion, but, you know, if if you showed me several times that you don't you don't mind putting in that work and going to jail and I got to be responsible for you, a grown man, then I'm not going to vouch for you either. But, I mean, I know Jay got love for, for Siegel, and Siegel got love for Jay. And I believe they've made amends and all of that. Because I don't know if y'all remember, Benny Siegel had this Jay. This like back in 09, 010, and he was down with G-Unit. And a lot of it's just misunderstanding. And then even also, one, thing, one more thing Oskino said is, oh, Jay-Z talked about how he was at a family reunion, and somebody asked him for 4300 and he said no. Well, what people don't understand is, you, how do you come at somebody with a business idea and say you need 4300 do you have a business plan you know i want to see where the company gonna be at for, for your projections in three years four years five years it don't matter if you got uh if you're a billionaire the problem is i'm a thousandaire keep it real i'm a thousandaire for now and i got family members that still ask me for money you hit you 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 know you throw them a couple hundred they go away they come back a couple days later oh i need my power bill oh can you help me with my kids oh i'm just going through a lot can i get 50 dollars? and then you don't hear from them again until they need some money it don't matter i got millionaires in my family you know and they don't want people asking them for money it's not the the 40 yeah the 4300 is nothing but it's the point is i'm trying to be around my family and all that you trying to see is how much money you can get from me so y'all gotta under y'all gotta understand jay's frame of thinking you know, and for most of y'all, if y'all had that kind of money, y'all wouldn't, y'all would do the same thing. See, billionaires stay rich by not giving away all their money. You know, if you want to look at people trying to help people, look at all these athletes and celebrities going broke. You got to entourage 30, 40 people, and then in, in two years, you ain't got no more money. You over here buying people Bentleys and Ferraris and stuff like that, 
and the minute you tell them no they give you their ass to kiss and one more thing people don't understand man everybody in the rock was in good positions beans had his own record label beans had his own clothing line beans was on star in this movie beans was the most popular person in the rock outside of what cameron kanye you know it was beans so beans was in the opportunity to do what he got to do and i just wish people would stop trying to put all the blame on jay these are grown men all of us are grown men all of them are grown men so we have to be responsible for our actions so i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think